we have two triangles, um, A, E, B, and D, B, C. Wait, what the f- What are those? Is that a goddamn semicircle? What is that, an oval? Who the f- Who wrote this? Was it Stupido Max Stupido again? This, it doesn't look like his handwriting. In fact, the man was so stupid, he forgot how to get to class. So, wonder who did this. Proof A F D. You're not even gonna write the triangle sign. Equals C F F. What the? F what the? F w wasn't you over there, semi stupido, max stupido? Okay. He says no, but should I really be that stupidly gullible? Okay. Tell me the truth, Mister Semi Stupido, Max Semi Stupido. Wasn't you? It was him, let's be real. So, geometry proof. So, we have to prove that AFD and CFE are congruent, you know? So, how do we prove that they are congruent? Well, first of all, we know that... Oh yeah, so, statement... reason so now what's our first statement well our first statement is that ape is congruent to feck oh that sounds pretty weird um and why is that? Well, it's because it's given me, stupido. So now... Oh, stupido, not stupido. You remembered how to get to class. Thank you for coming. No problem, bro. Anyway. <laughs> yeah, we really do be embarrassed. So, now, what can we do here? Well, remember that since these, are con these two are congruent, that means that A, B must be congruent to so a b over here must be congruent to who the hell drew this you know that these two are congruent why did you draw them like this i gotta fix this man i really do so we have here there we go that looks about right This is just going to be the new F. There we go. So now, AB is equivalent to BC. And we know that. Why? Well, it's because... Let's first write that down. It's because corresponding parts of congruent triangles are congruent. So... That up. So now. Oh, I'm in C P C C C. We draw it like that. Yeah. That should be better. Okay. So. Geez. Now. How uh, we are going to prove that DB is equal to BE, even though it definitely doesn't look like that visually, because some stupid old sabotaged my goddamn whiteboard. DB is equivalent to BE once again because congruent, a uh, corresponding part of congruent triangles are congruent. Let me see if I can do it via this reference. It might be a little hard, sorry. So, I'm gonna draw it like that. And now, I'm gonna see what I can do for you. Yeah, that looks about good. And then you have, it is this height. And then you go down. What do you call it? A uh, rectangle inside a rectangle. What the hell is wrong with you? Are you blind? Get out of my 
my classroom, stupid, not stupid. Okay. I know this one is a little smaller, but we're gonna have to work with it for now. So sorry, guys. So this, this is a circle inside a circle? Uh, I what the, what the, what the, what the? That's called a concentric circle, stupid. So now, do not speak. So now that means that we know that this is true. So we know that DB, it corresponds to BE, and we know, wait, uh, and we know the BC in its entirety. Wait, no, 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 sorry. That, uh, these two, AB and BE and BC correspond. And then the thing is over here, we have BE and then EC. So well, what we already know is that these two, AFD and CFE are congruent. Why? Because vertical angles. So Shut the hell up! Vertical. <laughs> Shut the hell up! Huh? Vertical angles. What is the multicultural lesson plan? What the f This is a geometry class. Are you looking for history class? Yeah, it's right over there at the stupid old Mac stupid old room. I'm sure you know it. You've went there many times. It's the quarantine room that we have for stupid people, by the way. <laughs> so anyway, we have vertical <coughs> angles, which are angles formed by the intersection of two lines that are opposite or always congruent. So numerous fibos. So we know these two are congruent. So, numeros fibos, we know that AB corresponds to BC and thus they are congruent. And the DB uh, corresponds to BE and thus they are also congruent. But to realize that... The BE or BF? BE, Mr. Stupid, I can't read. BF doesn't even exist as a line. Blind o Max signed o. Uh, you don't encourage questions in your class? <laughs> well, thing is, I thought there was no such thing as a stupid question until I met you two. <laughs> uh, so this is not definitely a student-centered classroom. This is a student-centered classroom. Unfortunately, you're not a stupid. You're a new. C you're not a student. You're. You are a student. But take the dent out and put the pit in. Boom. That's what you really are. So realize that AB minus DB. Oh, minus DB is must be congruent to BC minus BE. Since these two are equivalent and those two are equivalent. It's like saying x minus y is equal to x minus y. So this is called the subtract ion is equal to AD. And BC minus BE is equal to EC. Wow. So that, uh, that means that AB minus DB is AD and BC minus B is BC. Now, this is also called the CDC. part it ion apocalypse. Post you late. Okay, and finally, you'll. Now we know that these two are congruent. Now that means that we have one side, one angle. So what is there 
laugh, 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 for us to do. Well, there was nothing left for us to do, and we can prove this with angle, angle, side. So, that means that AFD is congruent to BD, uh, FDC. Can you write nicely, Professor? Okay. Sorry. So, AFD is congruent to FEC. Oh wait, did I write something wrong at the beginning? This ain't FEC. This is BCD. No, CFE. What the? Oh! That's what's given. What the hell? I... Oh, ABE and CFE. Sorry. All right. So now, angle, angle, side. That's it. Thank you, everybody, for watching.